Hello, hope you are doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Unicorn Platform AI Website Builder. This is an AI website builder that you can use for completely free to create a personal website or overall any type of website, whether it is a blog or you're just looking to create a newsletter using AI. All you'll need to do is go on to unicornplatform.com. From there, you can tap on create your website and you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll be able to sign up using your email address. Once you have created your account, you will be redirected to this page on which you can choose your starting point. So basically, you can decide what type of website you'd like to create. So whether it is a personal website, a news website, creator's website, any type of website, you can select it right here. Now let's say for example I were to select a personal website so I'm going to be selecting this template. So I will select the template. After you have done that you'll be redirected to this page. And this is the editor page so you're going to tap on create website from this template. And you'll be redirected to a new page on which you can tap right here to use AI generated content. Or you can select placeholder content and continue with default text. So I'm going to be selecting placeholder content. After you have done that, you can start editing each section. So for example, you can go over to the top left hand corner, tap on the header section. After you have done that, you can choose to either tap on Ask AI. And then from there, you could type in the prompt that you would like assistance with from the AI. And you can see some suggestions right here. So for example, you can use it to improve writing. You can use it to translate. You could use it to make longer or so on. Or if you would like to personally do it yourself, you can tap on edit navigation. Then from there, you could enter the text or logo that you would like to add. So for example, I will be changing it to simple answers just for example sake. So let me type that in right here. After you have done that, if it is a case that I had wanted to add a logo, I could tap on choose file right below logo and I could add it. You can also scroll down and you could add navigation links as you can see right here and call to action buttons. So there are numerous editing options that you have access to. And if it is a case that you would like to change the color, you can tap on style. And from there, you will also see the option to fix navigation bar. You could toggle this on to make a stick menu if you want. Or if you like to hide a page, you can do that. And if we were to tap on advanced, this is where you'll be able to see the custom coding section. You can edit each section just like that. So I could tap on this section once more. Then from there, I could tap on edit component. And I could change out the text again, just like what I had shown you with the first section. And again, you also have the option to ask AI to change it if you want. So you can make it longer. You can change anything at all you want by entering a prompt, as you can see right there. Once we scroll down, you can continue editing. So you can either, so if we were to select back the AI right there, you again, you can see different options that you can use. And by the way, by scrolling down, you can choose to insert a page component. So I could tap right there, then go over to the left hand menu option, and you can see the different elements that I get access to. So whether it is a case that you would like to add a video, a post, photos, anything at all, a pricing table or so on, you can select it from the left hand menu option. Then you can select the template that you would like to use and you can add it to your page. It's as easy as that to add elements to this website using Unicorn. And uh, by the way, if we were to hover back up, tap on the three dots right here. If you wanted to delete this section, you could tap on delete component, then tap on delete header. And you can see right there that it has been removed. So that is how you'll be able to delete a particular section. And you can view all the pages on your website by tapping on home in the top navigation bar. And again, if you would like to add a page, you'll tap on add page. And you can see the different pages that you will get access to. At the moment, you only have the option to add a blank page, privacy policy, or terms of service. 
So you have three different type of pages that you can add. You can also tap on blog and you could add blog posts if you want. You could also select extensions and from there you can see the different extensions that you can add. Now we could scroll down and you could also edit the footer section. By hovering over the footer section you could tap on edit component and again you could make changes and also you can see the option insert page component and you could add whatever you want to the footer section. Once you're finished you're going to tap on settings in the top right hand corner. After selecting settings from here this is where you could change the theme color. As you can see right here you can also tap on general and from here you could edit your subdomain name so this is the domain name that you'll be given for free you can also add on a firecon to your website and you could also choose the website social image and you can also set a language a particular language for your website as you can see right there if you would like to add collaborators you can do that once you're on the paid plan and this is where you'll also be able to add custom domain so if you would like to add a custom domain name, you could select custom domain name and select upgrade. And from there, you'll be able to add a custom domain name. And by scrolling down, you can see other features. You can also enable the cookie consent banner and also the language selector right here by simply toggling it on. Once you're finished, you'll close out of it and go over to the top left hand corner and tap right where you see amount plan on my screen you're going to select right there and again you're going to see the URL and from there you can copy the URL or you can choose to delete it if you want so I could copy it right here tap on OK and you can see it right there this is how my website looks at the moment if I would like to create another website I could tap on create website and you can create more websites and that's it Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.